Hey guys, it's Katie, and today we are making three of the best desserts ever. Seriously, they are so good. Super simple to make. All of them have six ingredients or less. They're under 200 calories, so they're perfect for those times where you want a little sweet treat, but you don't want to feel guilty about it. If you're trying to lose weight or just eat a healthier diet, the most important thing is starting to cut out sugars and processed foods, so these desserts are perfect because they do just that for you. The first thing I'm gonna show you is my five ingredient cookie. It is super easy to make, delicious. My friends ask for them all the time, and sometimes I eat them with my coffee for breakfast, so they're breakfast cookies too. Then I'm gonna show you a chocolate hazelnut shake. It's a protein shake that's awesome any time of day, but especially before you go to bed because you satisfy that sweet tooth plus protein will help you sleep. The last one is Ryan's absolute favorite thing in the world. It's my version of a peanut butter cup, but we're gonna do a healthy almond butter cup. And the best part is you don't even have to wear your stretchy pants to enjoy these desserts. So if you're ready for this deliciousness, sweat that thumbs up, give it a click, and let's get started. All right, it's cookie time. So this is everything you're gonna need. This is my absolute favorite new find from Naturally More. It's their roasted almond butter, and it's awesome because it has probiotics and flax. So the probiotics are really good for your immune system. Flax is good omega-3 fatty acids and fiber, so you get extra out of it. And then vanilla, just real vanilla, don't get like the fake stuff. Some cinnamon, and I know this banana is not pretty, but it is exactly what you need for these cookies. A super ripe, getting brown on the outside, not looking so hot, banana and last rolled oats. So make sure they're not instant oats. You want them to be the ones that you actually would have to cook. That is everything, so easy. So go ahead and grab that banana, take the peel off. They always look so fuzzy when they're so ripe like this. Okay, drop it in there, and then you're gonna mash it up. Yes, you can do this in a blender or a food processor, but why not do it by hand? So get it nice and mashed, mash, mash, mash. And then you're gonna take a half a cup of the almond butter, and this one is brand new, it came out of the cabinet, but I like to keep it in the fridge usually so it helps thicken it up a little bit. It doesn't really matter for cookies, they're gonna get baked anyway. So just pour it all in there. No almond butter left behind. And mix that all together. And this is good because you can keep mashing that banana down in case there's any clumps in there. If it's not perfect, no big deal, you can have clumps. They actually are delicious when the cookies are baked. Next, you're gonna take a quarter teaspoon of vanilla. Pour some out for the homies. If you get more, it's fine. And a quarter teaspoon of cinnamon. If you really want some extra cinnamony cookies, then you can do more. It's up to you. That's the fun thing about these cookies is yes, there's measurements, but really, you can make them your own. Mix it all around. We're gonna add a quarter cup to start of the rolled oats. I usually end up adding a little bit more. It's up to you. They're still gonna cook well if you just use a quarter cup, but somewhere between a quarter and a half. Yep, there, a little sprinkle. Dollop for you. And just stir it around until you get a texture that you think looks pretty good. Like that, beautiful. And you just wanna eat it, and you can because there's no egg. All right, so we're gonna preheat the oven to 375. Get that warmed up. And then I use a tablespoon just to help portion them out. Just put those down on some parchment paper. Beautiful, you'll get nine cookies out of this too. And if you feel like adding a sixth ingredient, how about some dark chocolate chip cookies because everyone loves the chocolate. Just a couple on there. Again, totally optional. I feel like now that I said that, everyone's gonna use chocolate chips, but why not? All right, so throw those in the oven. They only take about seven minutes or so, so not too much time, so just grab them. And look how pretty they are. They start to get a little bit brown. The chocolate chips are nice and soft. Beautiful. And the dough that you make can stay in the fridge too if you don't want to make them all at one time. You can stay in the fridge for like two days or so. And a little extra cinnamon on top. The best part about these cookies is they're super filling and nutrient dense. So there's 80 calories, seven grams of fat, 11 grams of carb, three grams of protein, and only three grams of sugar. I am so excited about this next recipe. It's a chocolate hazelnut protein shake. Yes, so good. 
All right, so obviously the key for me is my Vital Proteins. I am obsessed with them. They've made my hair grow longer, my nails stronger. Awesome. So we're gonna use Vital Proteins for the protein. My Naturally More, this one is the Chocolate Hazelnut Spread. And the awesome thing about this one is it has like five times less sugar than most of the other chocolate hazelnut spreads or butters out there. So good. Um, almond milk, I like making my own, but it's not always the most convenient. So this one is a good option. It doesn't have the carrageenan, which is not fun. If you've read my blog about why I broke up with milks, this is why. So this one's a good one. Half of a frozen banana, vanilla, and some cinnamon, because I love cinnamon, always. All right, so grab that frozen banana. We use that really brown banana in the cookies. You can always make cookies when you have those bananas going too ripe or just cut them up and freeze them for smoothies. Dump in the half a cup of ice. We're gonna use one cup of the almond milk, but keep in mind, if you don't want it as liquidy, if you want it really thick or you even wanna make like a nice cream, then just cut down on the milk. You can cut it in half even. But we're gonna use a cup here and then two scoops of the collagen peptides from Vital Proteins. I love it because you don't get all the sugar, it's unflavored, it blends in really well, you don't get texture or anything like that, but you get tons of protein. And then one really, really generous scoop of the chocolate hazelnut because no skimping, it's so good. Amazing, all right. Get every little last drop you can. Mm -hmm. That's right, get in there. And then just about a half of a teaspoon of vanilla. Just eyeball it. And same for the cinnamon. Boom. Nothing is better than chocolate, hazelnut, and cinnamon all together. It is so good. All right, so just plop it on there, blend it up. And voila. <laughs> All right, so pour it in there. This one's really awesome. It only has 200 calories, four grams of fat. You get 24 grams of carbs, which makes it really good for a pre-workout snack too. 21 grams of protein, thank you, my collagen peptides, and seven grams of sugar. And I know this is a recipe you've all been waiting for, the almond butter cups. Oh my goodness, they are so good. And they're awesome because you can freeze them and grab one out at a time. We're gonna be using chocolate chips, organic maple syrup. It's a really good, low on the glycemic index, natural sugar option to use. Vanilla, again, we're gonna be using the almond butter from Naturally More, some coconut flour, and coconut oil. You cannot get any cleaner than this. I know Halloween's coming around, Avoid, avoid, avoid all the store-bought processed stuff. This is a quick, delicious, amazing alternative. So dump the chocolate chips. You can just microwave them for like 30 seconds, check on them, and stir them around to get them nice and melted. It's the fast way to do it. And then I found these cute little like cups for like mini muffins at Home Goods for $2. Score. And I'm using about a half a teaspoon of melted chocolate in the base of each cup. So just get it down in there. And you just want it to coat the bottom. So just coating the bottom, you can bring it up on the sides a little bit. It's a messy job, but somebody's gotta do it. So just drizzle that around. And then put them in the freezer. They don't need long. You actually don't even have to, but I like to. So throw them in the freezer while we make the insides. So the almond buttery goodness. We're gonna use a half a cup of smooth almond butter. So this is perfect, especially if it's not in the fridge, you just throw it in there. But either way, half a cup, and just pour it in that bowl. two tablespoons of coconut oil. Now, as we're making this, remember, this is not a low fat snack, but it is good healthy fats, and it is definitely a great option when you just want a little something. That way you get a lot of benefit from a sweet treat instead of just processed sugar. We're gonna use two tablespoons of coconut flour. Just 
dump that in there, and two tablespoons of pure maple syrup. Get that little sweetness. A quarter teaspoon of vanilla. Right in there again, if you get a little more, it's no big deal. And then just mix it all up. So you want it really smooth, just slightly thick. So if it seems a little too runny at all, you can always add a tiny bit more coconut flour. But just like that. I mean, seriously, this is the best. You could just eat that by the spoon, but don't. <laughs> we need a portion control on this one. So once you bring them out of the freezer, they're gonna be a little bit hard, which is perfect. And then you're just gonna dollop in, you can use like a teaspoon to help you measure, but dollop in some of that peanut butter mixture. Uh-huh, look how good they're looking already. And then coat the top with more of that dark chocolate. Now I'm using like 70% dark chocolate, and. I do not want you to ever use less than 70% dark semi-sweet chocolate chips. 70 to 85 is ideal because that's gonna give you the purest, cleanest, lower in sugar. You're gonna have good magnesium, which is why we all crave chocolate when we're on that time of the month because magnesium is a natural muscle relaxer. Just FYI. All right, so then once you put it on the top, throw them in the freezer again. They only need a couple minutes and then they are ready to go. Unwrap it, look how good they look. Oh my gosh, each one only has 100 calories, seven grams of fat, seven carbs, three protein, and four grams of sugar. <gasps> Rude. All right, here is everything. Look how good it looks. You might have noticed a little chocolatey theme throughout all three of these desserts. That's because what girl doesn't like chocolate? And everyone deserves to have a healthy go-to snack when those times come that you're like really craving it. So make sure you either tweet it or Facebook it, share it with your girlfriends so that they have one too. I love being in the kitchen with you guys, especially making desserts. So comment below, let me know which one was your favorite. And next time we're gonna do three healthy dinners, but I need your help. Leave a comment, tell me what type of dinner you want me to make healthy, even if it's something that's not totally healthy, we'll make it healthy together. I'm gonna pick from your suggestions and I cannot wait to share them with you. Eating healthy is super important, but don't forget, good things come to those who sweat. So I'll see you guys next week for another awesome workout. Bye.